It's a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. I was, I was horrified. From a politician and church leader, those were some of the reactions to what happened yesterday on Capitol Hill. As thousands of people, some armed, stormed the Capitol building, forcing members of Congress to take cover Everybody stay down. and eventually go into hiding. The rioting and subsequent response from law enforcement led many to ask a question, one that 76ers head coach Doc Rivers couldn't hold back. Could you imagine today if those were all black people uh, storming the Capitol and, and what would have happened? If they had been black and brown folk, there, there would have been a lot of fatalities. Reverend Robert Collier is the president of the Black Clergy of Philadelphia, which represents some 50 churches in the area. He says the fact that rioters got that far into the Capitol shows bias by law enforcement. Because when we had our demonstrations here in Philadelphia uh, for Black Lives Matter and the, the, the Floyd case, uh, it was, there was plenty of, of, uh, of, a, of a remedy to try to offset violence and, 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 and riot and looting. I did not see that yesterday. The incident also had some thinking about something that happened in 2013. Remember Miriam Carey? Police shot her five times after she rammed her vehicle through a barrier one block from the White House. She died. Investigations later revealed she had been diagnosed with postpartum depression and psychosis. Reverend Collier says that bias is no excuse for violence. So tonight, he and fellow clergy members are gathering for a virtual town hall, and their goal is to promote peace because they don't want what happened in D.C. to spill over into Philadelphia. Stefania Jimenez, NBC 10 News.